So you want to build an insane team but don't have coins, well head on over to awoha.com. The link will be in the description. The best, cheapest place to get your FIFA 21 coins and use ETG at checkout for a discount. Yo, welcome back to another FIFA 21 squad builder. Now today what I do have for you is the best possible 300k team that you can currently make. And I am recording this on the 23rd of October so prices may be a bit different depending on when you're watching this video so it's probably gonna go down in price quite a bit over the next few weeks or even months so hopefully you guys do enjoy these right here are the exact prices so about 305k on Xbox about 340k on a PlayStation if you're on PlayStation I am gonna be showing you a few players that you can change to make the team about 300k so hopefully you guys do enjoy drop a like if you do and if you guys haven't entered my giveaway yet i am giving away 200k coins and i'll announce the winner at the end of the month all you guys have to do is leave a comment below and make sure you're subscribed and you will be entered but without further ado let's go ahead and start building this team the goalkeeper we're gonna be going with the 82 netto once it does load up so Neto a decent goalkeeper six foot three and mainly for chemistry honestly then the center back on the left hand side is gonna be the 85 Langley now this guy's a really solid center back I bought him with the shadow chemistry cell in about 66k so quite cheap 74 pace 87 defending left footed four star weak foot very good defensively 90 defensive awareness 84 reactions and good passing as well then the other center back is gonna be the 83 diego carlos now this guy's really sweaty 77 pace and uh he's 6'1 medium high work rates 20k so not that expensive anymore he's quite agile and defensively he's just a beast then the right back is gonna be a premier league player that is draw Cancelo. Now this guy's super cheap. I only paid like almost 4k. So really a steal. Other right backs in the Prem. Like uh, Juan Bezaka or like Trent. Are super expensive. And I'm kind of surprised by the price of this guy. Really cheap. 6 feet tall. 86 pace. And just a really metal player this year. Just like last year. Then the left back is going to be a Bonaziga player. That is going to be Rusulan. Not Marcelo. Rusulan. It kind of lag there. And this guy is really good this year, kind of like Furlan Mendy, 88 pace, 80 dribbling, 5'9", left footed, and I did snipe him for 1.3k, and I believe he's like 5k if we compare price. Yeah, like 5k, a really good player, and that right there has been the back line, a really pacey back line. Then the center mid on the left hand side, we're going to be going with the 84 Goretzka. Now this guy's really good this year and I believe I have him as a CDM. He has average stab of 76-2 and uh, he does play as a center mid in game. High medium work rates, not the best, but if you put him on stay back while attacking, he does stay back. And just a really all rounded player, he can attack, he can defend. And uh, I think the only slight con is the balance and agility so he is gonna be a bit clunky and for 20k you really can't complain though then the other center mid is gonna be the 83 alan now this guy's kind of expensive i paid about 40k not a bad price but for an 83 that is a bit much he has medium high work rates and plays really well at CDM. He's kind of like a cheap Conte. He does have really good in-game stats. Defensively, he's great. Really good on the ball as well. Quite agile, good balance. Then 92 stamina, 90 aggression. Just bullies anyone off of the ball. Then the center attacking mid is going to be a center forward. That is going to be the 87 Firmino. Now this guy, I think honestly, might be the best player in this team. He scored 4 goals and got 2 assists. And I think what makes them really good are the 5 star skills and also the agility and balance. This guy actually feels quite fast. I think it might be the chemistry cell, but he actually wasn't slow at all. And he has a really nice shot on him, really good finishing. Just a really fun player to use, high high work rates. And I did play him as striker in game. And he just did so much damage, I really can't recommend him enough. You can also play him like a center mid or cam. This guy just really has everything, 80 stamina, 74 strength. Not gonna feel weak for the pressure paying about 64k really is a steal. And that right there has been the midfield. Then the right wing is gonna be a right mid. That is the 85 Mares. 
Now this guy is kind of, I feel like, underrated. He's about, I believe, like 12k, like 12k. That really is a bargain. He has 5 star skills, 83 pace, and with the Hunter, it does go up to 93, 92 agility, 88 balance, 91 ball control, 76 stamina. That isn't bad, a lot better than other right mids like Dembele. Then the left winger is gonna be a left mid from the Bonaziga. That does get a perfect link to Goretzka, that is Sane. Now, this guy was fantastic in this team, and he has 93 pace, kind of surprised that his pace is that high still. He's left footed, 6 feet tall, has really good acceleration and sprint speed, and nice finishing, good shot power, and the stamina really isn't the best, but it is okay. I think the biggest con on him really is a weak foot, but it really isn't that bad this year. Then the final player, the striker, it is gonna be Gabriel Jesus. Now this guy's broken this year, and I do have him as an untradeable player, but comparing on the market, I believe he's like 25k. He was like 60k a couple, like two weeks ago, and he dropped in price by quite a bit. And I really can't recommend this guy enough. He has 85 pace, 82 shooting, high high work rates. He got two goals and three assists, really good acceleration, nice agility and balance, good finishing, and not the weakest player either. So I would highly recommend him. And that right there has been the team built for about 300k, an awesome team. And in game, I actually did play in the 4-4-2. We did play Alan and Goretzka as the center mids, then we did play Marez as a right mid and Asane as a left mid with Firmino and Gabriel Jesus as strikers. That's probably the best way to use this team in game. I think playing Firmino as striker works really well next to Gabriel Jesus, but I would recommend you guys go ahead and put the Hunter on him to play him as striker. And you can also play in the 4-2-3-1 if you do want, then play Firmino at middle cam, play Gabriel Jesus as striker and uh, then play Mares at right cam and I would play Goretzka on the right CDM position. Either formation does work, I usually switch in between both and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my custom tactics. So for the 4-4-2, I do set the defensive style on uh, press after possession loss, the whiff on 4, the depth on 3, then for the offensive style on fast, or not fast buildup, on balanced and the whiff and players in the box on 5, then for the corners and free kicks on 2. Then for the player instructions, I set the striker on stay central, gun on behind, and stay forward on both of them. And then the center mid, stay back while attacking and cover center on both as well. Then the right mid on get on behind, the left mid also on get on behind. Then the left back and right back on stay back while attacking. And those right there are my player instructions and custom tactics. And again, that right there has been the 300k team. The best team you can make for that price really has no weaknesses. I think the only player that might be a slight weakness is a goalkeeper, but most goalkeepers are kind of broken this year, so it really doesn't matter. And if you're on a PlayStation, as I've said, it is a bit over 300k. So what I would do is go ahead and instead of Gabriel Jesus, is get Richarlison. Richarlison is super cheap now. I believe he's like 3k, and really Richarlison and Gabriel Jesus aren't that far apart. I think Gabriel Jesus is a bit better, but not by much, and Richarlison can do the job quite well at striker, but make sure you buy him with like a Hunter, and that would be like 300k on the PlayStation, but if you're on Xbox, just go ahead and use that, just a fantastic team overall, hopefully you guys have enjoyed, drop a like on the video if you have, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time, peace out.